Hail and hello, everyone. Welcome to the Random Heathen Ramblings podcast, a Midgard Musings production. Join me, Jesse, your host, as we discuss random heathen-related topics and various other things in an attempt to find where, if any, heathen worldviews can be applied. You can support this podcast by clicking on the Linktree link in the description or show notes. You can also follow me on all of my social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and become a patron on Patreon. Join me every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Central on all major podcast streaming platforms, including Apple and Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, and many, many more. If you wish to have your voice heard on the Random Heathen Ramblings podcast, you can dial in to 615-671-9832. Thank you all once again for listening to the Random Heathen Ramblings podcast. Joy and hail to you all. Okay. Well, how are we all doing here, folks, on the Random Heathen Ramblings podcast? Um, took a week off uh, from the podcast uh, last week. Didn't put anything out. You know, and, I, and it gave me some uh, gave me some pause or time to pause and think about things. You know uh and 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 talk about why um you know i don't uh sometimes i don't prioritize my time as best as i should or or, or when i should but i i get so wrapped up in what i think i should be doing um or what i feel like i should be doing that uh i lose sight of reality you know and the reality is um there's not a whole lot in life that I actually have to do. You know, they say you only have to do two things in life. That's pay taxes and die. Um, <laughs> but, you know, there's more to life than that. And uh, I try to have, you know, fun with, you know, doing this, this podcast and, um, you know, talking about things that are just on my mind. And, sometimes I feel forced to have to do it. And that's just really me, you know, like, cause I've set a schedule. I've set a goal to do something every week. Um, a lot of my hopes for the way the YouTube channel, um, is going, uh, or, or is to be going, uh, doesn't, it feels like it's forced for me. Like I feel like I'm forcing myself to go through it. And if I continue doing things in that way, I'm going to get burnt out. I'm going to burn myself out and I'm not going to want to do this anymore. And I know that, you know, however many people listen and watch this show, um, however many people that might be, whether it's five, 10, 15, a hundred doesn't, you know, the numbers um, don't really matter. But if I, if I push myself to the point where I don't like doing this anymore and I stop doing it, then that's not fair to the people that enjoy it. So, you know, Last week, I was like, I got to do this. I got to do, I got to do this podcast. I got to do this podcast. But I'm like, I don't even want to. I don't want to get on here and talk about anything. And I had a really rough week um, last week, you know, kind of just fighting with myself in my head. I mean, I know we've all been there. I'm, I'm sure we've all had those kind of days, maybe some more than others, where we um, become so engrossed with, what we think we have to do or, or just life in general becomes so overwhelming. You know, we start thinking about our jobs or we start thinking about, you know, the thing that we said with our loved ones or this thing that somebody said to me and, you know, or, uh, you know, we, we just get, we get stuck in our own heads so much. And when we do that, it, uh, it causes us to effectively like shut down, uh, at least for me, 
you know, it causes me to just effectively shut down and be like, well, I'm just, I'm just not going to do anything. Um, and that's not really healthy. Like, I think it's fine to take time to, to, you know, self-care is important. Um, not, not enough focus is, is I think given on, on self-care. Everybody's like, and especially when it comes to stuff like this, right. Podcasts, social media, the, the, the likes, you know, when we get into a, a routine, when we get into, uh, schedule on things it's it's like a second job man you know it becomes like a well i gotta i gotta uh record this content you know i gotta put out this uh this video or i gotta put out this podcast or i gotta do this i gotta do that and when we look at it that way or when i look at it that way it's like this isn't my job i have a job you know i have a job that takes up nine hours of my day sometimes more depending on the day and um, this is not it. <laughs> this right here, talking about stuff, doesn't pay the bills. And, uh, you know, so really what I, what I do by, by coming on here is, is, is I allow this to be kind of like my let loose um, and, and offload and, and unwind and relax kind of time. And uh, here lately... Right. Like in the past week or so, I, I hit a point where it was more of a stress for me to. To do that, it wasn't me unwinding, so I just needed to unwind, I just needed to like literally not do anything. Um, and uh, so that that's probably going to happen periodically, guys, you know, just kind of letting you know that. As much as I love kind of just getting on here, rambling about different things, getting guests on here, talking about different things. Um, if it doesn't feel right and if it doesn't fit, I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to push myself to um, ever get to the point where I hate doing these things and stop altogether. So it's for my own good, and I hope you all understand and um, respect that. You know, there's there's enough content that I know is is released where if you ever get bored, you can always just look through my back catalog of videos. Um, comment on those you know if it's something that you were looking through on on my channel especially like the the youtube stuff um because that's where most of my content is um that's where most of it resides is on youtube before i started doing these podcasts maybe you see a video and you have a question about something or you like hey you know let's talk about that you know um because i do i see those comments and i'll, re I'll reply to them so you know, maybe there's not a podcast every single week. I'll do my best to keep it up. Um, but uh, maybe you see something on a video that, you know, you want to talk, have me talk, talk about or, or bring somebody on to talk about. Or maybe you want to come on and talk about it. Like I said in the intro, right, there's there's opportunity for people to come on and be a guest. And if you're interested and you want to do that, you can either call in to the hotline, which is, again, 615-671-9832. Um, and... Uh, share your thoughts and we'll share that here on the podcast or if you want to become a guest and sit here virtually with me and talk about stuff you know we'll, we'll entertain that idea too you can send an email midgardmusingstn at gmail.com you can at me on twitter you can send me a direct message um if you send a direct message on instagram i'm not going to see it because i don't watch i don't i don't like have that uh that platform um i don't watch it i don't monitor it so Keep an eye on the Facebook. I keep an eye on Twitter and, of course, the emails. Those are the best ways to get in touch with me if you don't want your voice heard. Um, but, yeah, so anyways, um, how, you know, it's a heathen podcast. Let's keep it heathen, baby. Let's, let's keep it as heathen as possible. Um, where does this all tie in? How does this all tie in? You know, obligation, responsibility, those are words that, you know, get, uh, get used a lot, um, in, in, in heathen circles as, as tenants or as, uh, parts of, of worldview, uh, of a heathen worldview that we all, uh, tend to have. And, uh, you know, having an obligation to do something, uh, if you fail to follow through with that obligation, you know, how much of that, uh, speaks to your honor and, and, you know, if you can't, you don't follow through with what you say and, you know, all of that, but 
the way I see it, right, is that my obligations and uh, my 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 honor and all that is 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 tied directly to my my clan, my my immediate family, the people who I have in my life that um, I I tie the most amount of weird with, you know, that we share the most amount of time with. So that's like my wife and my uh, my in laws. And then there's, uh, you know, the extension of that kin and kith, you know, her family, um, and then tribe, which is an extension of family. Those are where my obligations lie. And if I ever do anything uh, extracurricular like this, like I said before, this does not provide bread on the table, doesn't keep a roof over my head. It's just a, a fun thing. And there is some, you know, monetary kickback that I see like every few months or so four months or whatever like you know doesn't doesn't amount to much but um so it's 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 just you know again like more of a hobby that you know i enjoy to do so my obligations lie with the people that i just mentioned not anyone else now one could say you know well you you, you know you said you're going to do this you said you're going to do that you said you're going to you know put out content here there and everywhere and you're going to do that and you know that was those were lofty goals and um, I never swore an oath to keep that. I never made it a, a thing where I, I was going to be like, you know, if I don't do this, I have to, you know, pay the penalty, so to speak. Um, but I get it, you know, like when, when, when somebody comes out here and says, yeah, well, you guys can expect a certain thing and then the next expectation's not delivered. Um, that, that, that's, that's a bummer and that's a drag and, and you lose a little bit of credibility. Uh, for yourself if you don't deliver on the things that you say so it goes back to me right it goes back to me thinking about okay well what did i did is is what i was offering too much for me to handle and i honestly think at this point in time um it is you know for me to come on here and record a podcast episode once a week um and upload it you know, and take the, take the hour, two hours of my time to, to make sure that it's on all the platforms for everybody to get to. Um, that's about all I'm, I'm comfortable with doing right now. You know, um, whatever else the channel happens to, to have. I know I was talking to my, my Gothi, um last week about this, uh, or it might have been earlier this week. Yeah, I think it was earlier this week, actually, about this. Um, you know, he's even like, hey, you know, if, if we need something to just fill in the gaps, you know, some extra content, you know, there's there's something that that uh, that he offered he that he could do. And I said, sure, you know, absolutely. You know, if you want to just uh, have, you know, even if it's a five, six, seven minute long video of you talking about something that's on your mind, you know, that that gets put up on the channel. Right. It's content. It's it's something that people can see and hear. It may not be a podcast on on, you know, the podcast platforms, but. It's something that um, you can always go to YouTube and most everybody. I mean, I don't think there's hardly anybody that doesn't um, watch videos on YouTube, right? So you've always got it there. So there was talks about that. We'll see where that goes. Uh, we'll see how that pans out. But, um, you know, guys, a lot of what's a lot of what uh, 2022 has has really kind of um, taught me. And a lot of us, a lot of my friends, a lot of my nearest and dearest is, man, you got to take care of yourself. If you're not taking care of yourself, you're not going to be able to take care of anybody else or help anybody else because you're in a position that's, you know, less than optimum. You know what I mean? Like you're not operating at your peak. And if you're not operating at your peak and if you're not taking care of yourself in the, in the best possible way, then, you know, how can you expect to be of, of use to others? You're worth is not what it could be you know you, you you will not be as worthwhile you will not you will be worthless or worth less to your people uh, if you're not taking care of yourself so it's important for me to realize that yes as much as i've said well i'm going to put out you know this this you know video once a month i'm going to live stream once a month i'm going to do this i'm going to do that lofty goals like doesn't maybe seem like a lot but at the end of the day when i'm you know working my my normal shifts at my job and, and putting in extra time and having to deal with all of the 
things that that comes with to pay the bills, to keep the roof over the head, to, to provide for my family and my loved ones, right? And to do all these things. Um, if I'm burning myself out on other stuff, I'm, I'm not able to perform well and do the things that I am obligated to do, then it's, it becomes a problem. So I've caught that early on and I've realized that, yeah, I don't need to do all this stuff. Um, and maybe I'll, maybe that'll change. Like maybe that'll be, uh, you know, the same. It's, it's not the, uh, the end all be all right. But, um, at least for now, you know, if you get a video, if you get a podcast a week, you get a video a week. Um, that's about it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And if I, you know, subscribers drop, whatever, um, uh, I get, I get so stuck on the numbers, right? Because for my job and, and what I do on a daily basis, it's, it's very analytical, right? I'm looking at numbers. I'm looking at metrics. I'm looking at trends and statistics and things like that, you know, uh, as an analyst. So it, it's very natural for me to look at, you know, subscribers, followers, um, how much of my podcast is being listened to where, you know, on what devices, on what platforms on what do I, what can I do to be more engaging this and that. And it, it, it becomes something that, again, I, I take so much uh, attention on or put so much attention on that. It, 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 it controls me after that. It's again, it's like going from one job, uh, a full-time job to, you know, the, uh, a part-time job of doing something similar. And, and, you know, that's just not, not, it's not where I want it to go. It's not what I want it to become. So the last week when I didn't do anything on the podcast, you know, I was having like, a, like I said, a, a real kind of just rough time and you know, like I could uh, just a bad mental health day, say that much. Right. And I thought, well, I'll sleep on it and I'll wake up and it'll be okay. And it wasn't, it, it lasted for, a, you know, I would say the whole, almost the whole week. Um, and it definitely, you know, I guess I say we all have our, we all have our days. We all have our times where some of us more than others, maybe, but, um, went through it all, you know, endured, you know, as, as I've said before, and, and have quoted Eric Shervin from the Ravens call many a time, you know, adversity breeds worth and you, and you go through things and you, and you go through those times where, um, it's tough and it's, and it's hard and, and you, you're being tempered, you're being challenged, you know what I'm saying? And uh, how you deal with those challenges and how you work through them tempers you and it, and, and it strengthens you and it, and it breeds worth uh, to the people uh, around you that you deal with. So after, you know, just kind of going through the motions and, and, and externalizing it in a way that uh, was healthy, you know, talking to people about it, saying, hey, I'm really not feeling the greatest. This is what I'm dealing with. This is what I'm battling. This is what I'm struggling with. And, you know, sometimes those, those conversations that you have with people, you know, those t two, three hour long phone calls mean a lot and, and really help out and it, it helps put things back into perspective. But um, fast forward, right, to from last week to this week and things were better. And I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to get back on this podcast train and then talk to people about stuff and check in with people again. And, uh, I got a phone call or I, you know, I was, I was texting a buddy of mine who's one of our tribe brothers and, um, you know, he recently lost his dad, um, back in October and, um, it, it, it's been a rough time, obviously, um, for the guy that him and his dad are very close and he's still a bit lost with it, I think, you know, so he kind of went dark on social media and I knew about it ahead of time, but I, I, I kept in touch with him through text, you know, just sent him a text here and there, you bother, you know, checking in on you, how you doing? And, uh, he called me up the other night <clears throat> and I could tell, right. That he was in a mental state. Like he was in a state of altered consciousness, whether he'd been drinking or what, um, it was obvious, you know, but, it's okay. You know, you're calling me. Let's talk, you know, but, um, 
he kept coming back. He kept, he kept saying, he's like, yeah, well, you called me and, and, and I'm, I'm answering the call. And I'm like, I never called you. I texted you a bunch of times and, but I never called you, you know? And, uh, and he's like, no, no, I don't mean a phone call. I mean that you called out to me. And uh, I remembered <laughs> that one of the text messages that I had sent him was for anybody that follows my, you know, Twitter and, and Facebook and Instagram, you guys have probably seen the photos that I shared um, earlier in the week of uh, a smoke session that I was doing. It was a frankincense resin smoke session and, and I was outside and I had on my, my new uh, ritual robe that um, it's a hooded robe makes me look like a Jedi, man, if you think you want to look at it that way but um it's pretty cool my wife got it for me it's like a early engagement anniversary gift slash valentine's day gift um anyway that picture had me you know burning the resin in a cauldron a, a small porcelain cauldron that my brother here that i'm referring to had gifted to me back um earlier in january as a late yule gift and i've remember sending him that picture since I knew he wasn't on social media. Um, and I said, Hey, uh, your, your cauldron is, is being put to good use. I'm, I'm using it to, to hold the thing that burns the resin. Right. And that's what he meant by you call and I'm answering. It's like, I felt, he said, I felt that energy that you put out there. I, I, you know, I knew that it was more than just a picture that you sent me. He said, I, I, I knew that what you were doing was, was reaching me. Your the, the intent of your smoke session and, and, and whatnot, it was, it was reaching me. And I was like, cool. Like, you know, so how, how you doing, man, you know, like checking in like, so, okay. So you're answering, I'm answering your call. You're answering my call. How are we doing? Well, you know, one thing, uh, led to another and, and we're sitting there talking and he says, uh, I'm going to need you to do a casting, a rune casting, right? Um, for you. And I said, okay, well, this is, uh, this is, this is odd. And I, I normally don't cast the runes um, like in this manner. Usually it's always done in person, you know? So again, this is on a phone call. And he's like, go grab the bones, man, go grab the bones. So I did. And, um, he said, just, just cast them how you would, you know, so he reached in, grabbed the handful and, uh, and, and cast them just, you know, tossed them out on the, on the, uh, on the surface, on the table there. And, uh, two runes came up and the rest were concealed. So there was a total of seven, uh, seven runes that made it out of my hand. And again, I, uh, th there were, there was two that, that revealed themselves. The first, uh, there was, I was, and there was Vercano and, uh, the rest of the other five were, were concealed. They were upside down. I didn't see what, which ones they were at first. He said, okay. He said, the things that are, are the, the ones that are visible to you are your hopes and fears. And, um, and, and, and then he said the, the, and so hopes and fears. I said, okay, well, it's just these two. And then uh, he said, well, the others are going to be your friends and enemies. It's, it's, there's like a duality here or something, which is interesting because um, again, I, I usually, I'm the one casting, right? And I'm the one reading them for somebody else. He didn't have runes to cast or he wasn't casting. He was like, you cast them and I'm going to tell you how to read them or what to read and that, that sort of way. It's very interesting. It's a very different um, experience, you know? And um, so anyway, the, uh, the rest of the runes that came up, um, I'm going to, I'm going to find which, uh, which ones they were. Cause I don't remember them all uh but the uh the, the remaining five runes that were concealed that when i once i turned them over was ewas onsus unyo sovalu and lagus 
so he said you know those are your it's it's friends and enemies and then but the, the ones that really the ones that really stuck out to me and, and he said you know i'm going to look into the i'm going to meditate on this a bit more um, but the 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 whole hopes and fears thing being i was and darkana um the i was room you know that one is has been a very uh prominent rune for me lately ever since about november when my myself and and um my gothium law speaker went to the woods and had a a spiritual journey um that night in november i was was a was a, a rune that i was thinking about beforehand and then after the, the ritual right when we get to Fast forward to January when we had our Yule ceremony. That's the rune that I pulled during our Yule, uh, following our Sumble ritual. And then my brother here that I'm talking about, that I'm talking with on the phone after our Yule thing, because he couldn't make it to Yule when he came over. He came over to my house, you know, a week or two after Yule, and uh, we did a tarot reading. He, he, I have a tarot deck of Norse gods and runes and stuff like that it's and i don't do tarot like i've but my wife gifted them to me and they've been used periodically and he did a tarot reading for me and the last card that i picked out of the deck at the very end of it all was i was the rune i was and then here we go with i was popping up again um you know and the the connections for me with that rune being the Kind of the axis between the realms you know um achieving the connection to your higher self uh and then the other opposite end connecting to um kind of like the underlying layers uh, what's what's beneath what's above and beneath and, and finding that connection between the two traveling as it were you know using it as a um a, a rune to meditate on for shamanic type work which i've really become uh very strongly focused on and interested in in my own spirituality um and then you know burkana with the the connections it has of um you know sanctuary protection secrecy the feminine energy the feminine fertility energy you know there was a lot later on that night so once we got off the phone once i got off the phone with him and I start thinking about everything that he said, you know, hopes and fears, hopes and fears was, you know, which one is my hope and which one is my fear. And I got to realizing that it's one's not a hope and the other isn't a fear. It's that they can be both and they can go back and forth. It, when you could have hopes of both of things pertaining to these runes and you can have fears of both of these things pertaining to these runes. And, it, you know, it, it all really started making sense and it became a very very interesting night after that it was very emotionally draining and this was now at this point of the week you know two nights ago from tit from the time of this podcast being aired you know so i uh i i i went through that whole moment that night thinking about things and it was again very emotionally uh taxing because there was there were things that came up about <clears throat> myself my 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 immediate family the who i don't talk to anymore the family around me who have kind of been adopted into um you know uh my wife's nieces and nephews who have by default become my niece and nephew as well um and and having that connection and having involvement in their lives in their very very young lives like her nephew just turned one um a couple of weeks ago and her niece who she watches almost every day of the week is just i think now a little bit older than four months old so again being being involved in their very you know developmental years and very early stages of their life um it's it's, it's potent stuff man like it's it's strong strong young strong energy you know very very fresh very new and very deep but 
the 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 one knee like the one child Nate uh my wife's niece um her father is is he hasn't been listening and watching my stuff for any length of time you know that uh my wife's brother you know committed suicide last summer and this is his daughter that she will never meet him in person you know it's like she'll never see him in person and in our in the way we you know uh connect with you know tangibly but he's always around and 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 it's just you know that's where the whole i was thing comes in you know the, the connection between the seen and the unseen the the mortal plane and, and the the uh the sacred plane or the profane space and sacred space and having having that powerful connection between the realms as it were and between those spaces um hoping for that hoping that what i am doing as an uncle is good enough for for zach you know for for um his daughter who we watch and care for or help care for you know hoping for that and being afraid of it not of of not being good enough you know what i mean so having that Again, one is not just the hope, and the other is not just the the fear, or vice versa. It's it's both for for both of them. And then uh, again, with the the Burkana, um, similarly, you know, not having children of my own, but having a role in in children's lives that are very close to us, and having that, you know, being an uncle, how how impactful an uncle is for for a child i mean i know my uncle has has been a very important part of my life uh, especially in my very year, early years and from my childhood into my youth and into my young adulthood um as as uh, much of an influence as, as he was during that time um makes me you know reflect on on those moments and being afraid you know or fearing that uh you know i won't live up to that title or, or live up to that responsibility um but hoping for that and hoping to be someone who's you know who, who doesn't have you know children of his own per se like that he's sired right um but but you know nonetheless being that safe sanctuary you know being that um I guess, you know, uh, taking on enough of, of the feminine energy, right? Because again, you know, being a man, you know, you've, you've got this thing in the back of your head, you know, it's, you know, always be strong and, and be stoic and be a provider, but there's, there's nothing wrong with embracing uh, your feminine side and, and showing love and compassion and care and, um, and all that kind of uh, stuff too, because that's part of it's it's just part of humanity, man. It's 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 that's and and that's one thing that that, be, that that's why it became such an emotional night is because reflecting on that November ritual, right, and experiencing ego death that to the point that myself as as a as a young thirty something year old man died that night that 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 part of me was gone and it was like i'm not a man anymore i'm not even a human being i'm i'm just a living entity i'm just a living thing i'm i'm an, I'm, I'm sharing existence i'm sharing life with so many other living things around me and you know your identity is is it doesn't matter you know it didn't matter and it still doesn't you know really matter anymore to me did at least not as much as it once did you know like there's still parts of me that are just me uh my attitude my my mannerisms you know my characteristics or whatever but it's it's so much dialed back from what it used to be because of of that experience that i had in november and, and having that part of myself the ego die um so it doesn't it doesn't bother me at all to think about you know embracing the feminine side of things and embracing the the more uh you know caring and loving and gentler side and it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay to feel these feelings 
um it, it you know and, and to not be so proud uh or whatever the right word is you know not to be so stuck on well i'm a man and i can't feel that or i shouldn't be feeling that so that whole you know ritual experience leading up to that you know a couple of nights ago when uh my buddy and i had that phone conversation and i cast those runes and he's telling me about what to ponder on and what to think of it's like a continuation of that night, you know, of from back in November, little things that pop up, little things that happen. I, uh, I was, I was, you know, telling, telling somebody uh, a couple of weeks ago about how certain things that I see and, and, and view, like literally see, like I'll be looking at something and, and I see things about it that I never saw before, you know, or I see things move that shouldn't be moving, but that are moving. Like I'm literally watching it vibrate move whatever and i'm like oh here we go again it's it's those little glim glimmers those little memories that pop up that remind you of, of the bigger picture uh and it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing i never want it to go away and it, and it makes me want to continue on in that journey because it, it's it's life-changing it's absolutely life-changing and you can't ever go back to life the way it was before once you've experienced it like you just can't I, I i don't see how i don't see how anybody could still trying to figure out you know still still meditating on the the friends and enemies uh thing between those other five runes you know um still haven't quite come up with a summary of that but it'll get there i'll get there take its time, you know, let the, let the boat kind of just coast through the waters and you figure it out when you get there. But, um, but yeah, man, so that's, you know, that's kind of where things are. That's, that's where things have been and that's where things are going. So, um, I don't know where I'll be next week, if it'll be a podcast or if it'll be something else or what. Um, I definitely want to try to keep the cadence of a weekly podcast, even if it's, you know, shorter than, 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 than others, you know, I, I, the hour to hour and a half long ones are, are better when there's guests, but there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, 20, 30 minute video of, of something else just to, to make, you know, make, make a difference. So anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of where things are and that's, that's going to be um where today's episode ends on you know relatively short one um but kind of wanted to you know share that whole thing with everybody and let you know right that um i was having a moment i was having i was having a rough time and you expect things from me and it's only fair uh for me to take care of myself and then offer the transparency uh to you guys to um you know, keep you informed as much as possible about where things are at, because it's not fair otherwise. So again, I, I uh, not not a very profound episode this week, I don't think, but uh, if you did enjoy it, liking the video, upvoting the podcast, whatever, engaging on the platform that you're listening to this on, I think, you know, I think Spotify has a, a feature where you can favorite the episode or whatever. And then probably all the other ones, Google, Apple podcasts. I don't know what it is, but if it does, and if it's there, smash it up, vote it, share them around too. Um, you never know what someone is going through where hearing the experiences um, of somebody else like me or, or whatever, uh, hearing about this experience might, you know, help somebody you never know i don't know so if you do like these things keep keep engaging with them thank you again to everyone you know who's who's who stuck through all of my patrons all of my channel members all of the people who have you know subscribed followed liked shares all of that um, thank you for being engaging and thank you for sticking around and i appreciate you um i may not feel like i'm doing the greatest thing or i'm not seeing the greatest numbers or whatever but i'm I'm dialing it back to not be focused on that so much because otherwise it's going to consume me. It's going to eat me up and I'm going to become a, 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 
a slave to this machine, as it were, and I'm going to become too engrossed with it all because I'm so stuck on the numbers, right? I'm so stuck on the, the metrics. It's not important for me at this level. At least, at least it shouldn't be. So you guys have a great rest of the, uh, the day, the week, the night, the morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. Um, hope you enjoy it. And until we talk again, may the gods and your ancestors continue to walk with you. And thank you so much.